Alright, so this is the part where, um, this part is where the level gets pretty fun. You get to, um, blow up these, um, mortar pits with, uh, friggin, what are they called? Mortar shells. And I heard a story about this guy who got, like, Medal of Honor for, like, he was, like, stuck in a building or something, and he, um, he basically did exactly what I, you're doing now, like, dropping mortars on guys, and he got the Medal of Honor for it, and that was just a cool story I heard. So, anyway, you throw the mortars into the, um, in the mortar pits, and you basically just have to clear everyone out, so this section is pretty easy, and considering that these things have a huge range, it should be pretty easy, but, um, the only thing you gotta watch out for is that you don't throw it, like, directly next to you and kill yourself because if you do that I give you a golf clap like the men at work golf clap that's a pretty good movie like I just saw like a few days ago and it's really good um so a while ago I was actually able to throw these over the wall like I actually knew where every single mortar pit was and I was able to just throw them over the wall and I try that now with some success but not much so just kill and th that kinda glitched out there I kinda got stuck on top of the thing there but um, just try and throw them into the um, into the mortar pits it's not hard just don't stick yourself way out outside of cover because you'll get killed you're like guaranteed to get killed here like that and there's going to be this little, like, machine gun kind of hut way off to the uh, left of the pits that you're trying to shoot. So, if you throw a mortar at it, it'll blow it up, and it'll just save you a ton of trouble there. So, I miss it that time. And, um, so that's pretty much it. Just keep throwing the, um, mortar shells... Well, actually, I, I think I, yeah, I snipe out the machine gun so I don't get killed while I'm throwing the uh, mortar at it. But just throw away, um, throw a mortar at that little hut, and it'll blow up. And I think this is close to where the death card is in this level, but um, uh, I don't remember. No, wait, now I remember where it is. It's in that little hut that I'm kind of staring at right now. That's where the death card is in this level. So if you're looking for it, um, look in there. It's in there somewhere. So keep throwing these mort mortars. Um, not only I destroyed the hut, but um, I killed a machine gunner, so it isn't a problem. And just keep doing that. Make sure everyone's dead before you move up, though, because they'll shoot you in the back. And if if you leave guys behind and they shoot you in the back, you're pretty much dead and you have to restart the section, which sucks. Don't be a jackass and try to just run out there and try and blow them up because you're either going to blow yourself up or you're just going to get killed. I know a lot about being jackass because I just recorded uh, Heart of the Reich. And basically in the last part um, where the guy runs up, gets burned, and you run in, I was shooting my gun into the air and just being a jackass overall and I paid the price for it because as soon as they opened the door for some weird reason there was a guy directly inside it and he killed me and I didn't finish the level you'll see that when I post it and I was laughing my ass off at the time um, for Heart of the Reich um, being such a requested level um, I like I don't know why it, it's kind of easy but there are tons of tricks too which probably make it a lot harder anyway so back to this level so um keep killing everybody make sure everyone's dead before we move through there's gonna be a few guys in this little hut where I said the death card was before and it's gonna kinda be like off to your left here I think like I don't really know but I know it's in here somewhere so keep killing guys when everyone's dead run in here and one thing uh, that makes this part a bit easier is um, if I like to grab a mortar shell 
and bring it over the checkpoint you get while you're going through here. This thing I actually learned from beer. Don't throw a grenade like that and kill yourself like that because that was a complete mistake and I'm an idiot. So, I like to cross the checkpoint with a mortar in hand just so that if you die while you're doing it, which did happen to me there, that's what that editing was there, um, then you have a mortar shell that you can use. So, there's, they're going to be pretty bunched up in here, so throw it in there. I think I killed three in one sh one thing there. So, um, they're, they're going to be pretty bunched up in this section, actually. So, what I like to do is run off to the right here and just kind of book it, because this part, your allies will do most of the work, but you, also, you still have to watch out for if they leave any guys behind. And the enemies are pretty grenade-happy in this level, too. And it's really easy to get blown up by a grenade in this part. So, just watch your ass, because the AI is stupid enough to just run completely behind your enemies, or your allies, and they will shoot you most of the time more than your allies. In fact, I, th I think you're like their number one target or something. I don't know why, but whatever, so... Um, I like, I don't recommend throwing gr smoke grenade up there. I did it because I thought it would make it a lot easier. And they just ended up shooting me through it. And it just made my life harder. So don't throw a smoke there. Um, sit back and snipe them. Either with your sniper rifle or with uh, either your M1 Garand or your M1 Carbine if you picked one up. You shouldn't run out of ammo with the M1 Carbine because your allies carry them all. And if your ally dies then you get extra ammo so it shouldn't ammo shouldn't be a problem um, for the M1 carbine you have tons of sniper ammo too so you don't have to worry about that but if you do run out of um, either ammo which I highly doubt and you must be a terrible shot if you do no offense but if you do run out of ammo then just swap it off for an Arasaka or something Arasaka is probably the most common um, common gun in this level so make sure everyone's dead again um, just so you don't get shot and just run in here and that's the entire section